Hi guys, I hope you're well. So today I'm going to show you how you can do a painting in the style of the artist Kandinsky. Um, so you might end up with something a bit like this painting. Um, so Kandinsky is thought of as one of the pioneers of abstract art and he was really interested in abstraction, in music and in colour and how a painting um, could be like a visual um, version of music really. So all you need is some paints, either watercolours or acrylics, um, or you could even do this with coloured pencils or oil pastels, um, a pencil and some paper. And to start off we want to do a kind of background um, colour onto this paper um, using white and kind of off-white pale shades. Um, so I'm using a mixture of acrylic and watercolour because I don't have many um, much white left of my watercolour. So I'm just painting this onto the paper. This is because Kandinsky often he didn't work directly on a really white surface. He'd put in background colours as well. But you can be quite um, rough with it, it doesn't need to be even. We're just making the background a bit more interesting. You just don't want it to be too bright, that's the only thing. Mm -hmm. And you can play around with kind of how thick you put it on or how thin. And you want to go and, and uh, kind of cover your whole piece of paper. Okay, and once you're happy with your background, um, you can leave it to dry for the moment. And then you need to think about what you want to paint. So even though Kandinsky um, looked at making abstract work, um, his paintings were still rooted in some kind of reality. So he often um, would sketch a scene or something and uh, take marks and lines out of those drawings of real situations to create his abstract paintings. Um, so you might want to put some objects in front of you and draw them. Um, or I'm going to look out of the window that's behind the camera. Um, and you want to think about um, drawing the scene using lines but not too many and think about um, where you're putting them on the page so it will make a nice composition. Okay, so Kandinsky also would often use um, kind of geometric shapes intersecting um, and lines uh, so I was thinking about that as I was um, doing um, my sketch and once you've done your sketch then you can start to paint um, and also once your background's dry. So you want to begin just painting with black and um, you want to kind of try and make your watercolours, if you're using watercolours, as strong as possible. So you want to really um, rub your brush into the colour without using too much water. And then you want to look at your sketch and work from there to paint in the shapes. But don't be afraid, you know, you can change things from your sketch if you don't think that they're working. Um, and you also want to think about some lines being thicker and some being thinner. And you also don't want to fill your paper too much um, because Kandinsky would often leave quite a lot of space on the canvas. Okay, and so once you've um, done the black, then you want to move on to another colour. Um, but we're just going to use one colour um, at a time. Uh, so think about um, what colours um, go nicely together. Maybe you want to put some music on and you could listen to that music and see what colours spring to mind. Um, because I'm basing it on outside of my window, I'm going to do green next, as these were the trees. And so you just want to add more marks to build up your composition. Um, Kandinsky also used kind of blocks of colour, so you might want to um, fill in some of these black shapes that you've painted, like this. Uh, 
and you want to think about everything that you paint you're painting lines having some thick and some thinner and you might want to think about how you can use lines to bring different parts of your composition together so some kind of wavy lines can work between the shapes to join them Once you think you've added enough in that colour, then move on to a new colour. You might want to colour the areas in between your black shapes with blocks of colour. And just add in anything that you think will enhance your composition. But just remember, we don't want it to get too busy. And think about what shapes you can add in to bring feelings of movement um, and energy and um, feelings of music um, to the piece. Okay, and when you think that you might be done, um, then you might want to go back in and um, add some more black, just to bring out some of the black lines um, from the beginning. So you might just want to make them a bit darker or a bit thicker. So remember, you want to stroke your black watercolour with your paintbrush for a little while, so that it gets nice and dark not too watery and it's nice to do this in some areas but you might not want to do it in all of them um, so that you have different um, contrast and you might want to put some new black lines in as well depending on how your painting has developed Okay, and once you've added the black, the last thing to do is to then use your white and you want to go back in and go around areas of your painting that you want to bring out and you want to make them stand out. So, I want this red circle to stand out, so I'm just painting some white into this section so that it pops a bit more. And this is a technique that Kandinsky used. Alright, so hold it up and have a look at it. See if there's anything um, you need to add. Um, and if not, then you're finished. So here we go. Here's my Kandinsky inspired painting. So I hope you give that a go at home. You could do it in your sketchbook or just on another piece of paper. Um, so yeah, okie dokie, see you later, bye!